Hello, this is Lee over 3D Palace and welcome back to our Lehman Roos Inspire tank build. In the last part, we went ahead and detailed the front of the tank. In between, what I did was I just went ahead and um, put in a couple more details of the armor plates that we made earlier. And I added in some rivets. That, that was about it. So, um... Now what we're going to do is we're going to start working on the turret. So we have some geometry that we need to make for the turret. Um, there's a armor cowl that goes over the breech that we're going to have to model. And that's, uh, you know, we have to do the hatch. So we got a lot of stuff to do. So let's just go ahead and get into it. So, first thing what I'd like to do is let's go ahead and model in that uh, armored uh, armored uh, cowl for the turret. So, we'll come over here and I'll draw a box. Okay. About like so. And yeah, that's fine. This is what we're going to end up doing. Just convert this to an edible polygon. I'm going to take this edge here, move it all the way over to here. Okay. Now I'm going to take this edge. And I'm going to extrude him a little bit. Okay. And I want to hinge from edge. I'm going to pick a hinge being this one. Okay. And I want to just rotate it a little bit more. Okay. Let's zoom in a little bit. Too much. There we go. Okay, now we can move the whole thing over. Like so. Okay, and then let's go ahead and extrude that face some more. About like so. Extrude it again. And we're going to hinge from edge again. And we're going to pick our hinge being this one. And this time we want to go, uh, let's see, 60 degrees because we want a 90 degree bend. Okay. Good. Extrude. Oop, too much. Okay, so let's try that again. Uh, let's see. We went 30. 60 should be 90. We did change it a little bit too, so let's try going 55. Not enough. Okay, so all we can do is uh, rotate it. them somewhere okay and then move them out a little bit more there we go okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off use the mirror tool and we want a copy okay <coughs> Ow. Out a little bit more. I'm gonna attach. Turn that off. 
Let's grab those polygons and we can bridge them, creating a solid piece. Okay. Turn that off. All right. Now for this, I would say we could go ahead and use the select a place tool. So go ahead and select a place. It's going to come down to about there. Good. Now we just got to shrink it down a little bit here. I'm just going to grab those. Really? Come on. Okay, why are we doing that? Select those. Okay, and I want to move them along the local. Please. Ooh, that's going to be bad. All right, let's try view then. Move it down to about there. Move it to about there. Good. Okay. And then these guys can get moved over. To line up with that. These guys can get over to line up with that. And that should be good. Now we do have some deformation. Um, so what we can do is we can just add in some geometry here. Do a ring. We can do a connect and throw in say three. Okay. And then grab these and we can do the same thing. We can ring. And this can get rung. And throw a connect in there. And that should straighten out our geometry and keep them quads. Okay. Alright. Now we need the hatch. So from the hatch, we can just do a simple cylinder. Uh, height segments one. Sides, bump that up to say 24. Want it to be relatively smooth. Start in the center here. Pull it out. Auto grid it up. Okay. That's good. Okay, let's use our work table. That's good. Right there. Okay, so now we got to build the hatch. Let's go ahead and convert that to an interval polygon. Let's grab this poly. We're going to inset him just a tad. Okay. And let's go ahead and start beveling. So we're going to bring him straight up. On that, I want to zoom in. Yeah, we can zoom in like so. Okay. Bring them up a little bit. Zoom in. Bring them in a bit more. Okay. And we can bring them straight down. And we're going to want them to bring them in a bit. Okay. Now, if we want to have it open, what we would do is we would disconnect this uh, interior polygon and then create the hatch out of that. But I'm not going to have it open. So, what I'm going to do is bevel this back up. So that's roughly equal. 
Okay. Bring it out so that it's overlapping. And bring it up. Just pull it a little more and add in that bevel. Okay. And bring it in. All right. Now, what we need is another smaller hatch in the middle. This guy, and we can bring him up like so. And like so. And what I would like to do is grab this guy. I'm going to ring it. Oh, oh, not ring. We want a loop. And I want to use the extrude tool. Okay. I'm going to bring them. I wanted to cut in a little bit here. There we go. That's good. All right. And then from here, actually, it's going to be from here. You just do a ring here. Same here, ring, I'm going to throw a connect on here, just one is fine, okay, good, alright, now this guy, I'm going to grab these here, every other one, throw a inset on them uh, by polygon okay we want to extrude by polygon bring it in okay Well, this is an issue, but, uh, eh. yeah, I don't like it. Okay, so let's just do those separate. Do those as a group, these front two as a group. Do the rest here. Okay, go ahead and insert it again and extrude it again. And what we're going to do is we're going to move them down. So that they barely uh, intersect, but they're flat to the bottom there. Okay. Now, we're going to go ahead and add in our... mechanism for actually opening the hatch. Okay. And that's gonna go back here. So we'll start with a box. Actually this is a little off so we need to rotate him. fits properly. Okay. We'll start with a box. And I'll, let's go ahead and right click and convert to an edible polygon. We're going to move this guy over. 
So I use roughly the same size. Should be halfway between both. Good. Okay. Now let's go ahead and convert this to an edible polygon. And we're going to grab this. We're going to ring. We're going to connect. We're going to chamfer. About like so. And we're going to chamfer again. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab this one and this one. These two polygons here. We're going to inset. Click OK. We're going to extrude. Okay. And then I think we're going to go ahead and use our scale tool. Scale them in a tad. And then I want to use my move tool. Move them forward. Like so. Okay. And then I can grab this one. This one. I'm going to ring them. I'm going to throw a connect on them. Okay. Let's grab these. We'll delete. This one we're going to hinge from edge. We're going to pick a hinge being here. We're going to go. 180 and we're going to pick the number of sides being 7 we're going to go ahead and delete the back facing polygon and we're going to weld and weld we're going to do the same thing here click this gentleman And we're going to go ahead and pick this guy. Click OK. Delete. Weld. And weld. All right. OK. Now come back over here we want another cylinder starting right from this vert bring it out about like so okay let's convert this to an edible poly okay we'll do a bevel down and then we'll bring that down a little bit in out up out and in a little bit okay now what we can do is grow all the way down here, control I, and turn it off, we're going to extrude through to here, okay, then we can go ahead and bevel. Okay, down a little bit. Two like so. Out. Two like so. Halfway swing. 
thing. I don't know if it's too big. All we have to really do is about like that. Okay. Now, let's turn that off. Turn that off. And I would like to rotate this just a tad so that we're flat. And again, I'm going to use our friend to go ahead and move him over to here. Okay. And again, we need to rotate up a little bit and this is going to need to match there we go so now we can go ahead and grab see it keeps moving it's not moving okay so we need to attach yeah man And this one and then we can come over here grab this one this one and we can bridge okay I'm going to grab these polys And set them a little bit, not that much. Okay. And I'm going to extrude them out. And I'm going to move them down. Okay. Now let's go ahead and use the scale tool, make them flat. Good. Okay. And I want to extrude them again. I'm going to use the scale tool along the Z axis to make them a little bit bigger. Okay, we're going to use the extra tool one more time. Good. Okay. All right, now we got a little bit of a space underneath. That's fine. What we're going to do is go ahead and grow over right there. And we'll just move it down until it intersects. Like that. Okay. Actually, what I'll do is I'll grab this. This whole thing will just rotate a little bit. There we go. Good. Kid dokey. And then I think what I'd like to do is take these and just give this a bit of a rounded edge by moving these out. Okay. Good. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this whole thing, click attach, attach it all together. Okay, and we need to add in our rivets. So let's go ahead and grab rivets and some other small details. And start placing things in. So we'll go ahead and grab shift and drag. First rivet can go here. 
shift and drag the next rivet over to here. Okay. And we'll shift and drag some rivets onto here. thinking we might want definitely need some other parts for this but like I think here would be a good place um, let's see let's go ahead and use our spline tool uh, let's see Shapes, line, initial, drag type corner. Okay. Move the handle. Zoom in. Ah, uh, see so rendering. We want twelve side is fine. Enable and render and viewport. Okay, that's pretty good. And actually, I'll just go ahead and convert it to an edible polygon. Because what we're gonna do. So we're going to take this. Come on now. And this one. And loop. And we're going to go ahead and chamfer. Okay. There we go. All right, turn that off. We can get a smoother corner by using the Bezier tools of that, but I just don't really want to bother with it right now. All right, and we're going to go ahead and shrink it. Like so. Okay. And this one we're going to call uh, handle. Zero zero one. Okay. Go ahead and rotate him. Actually, need angle step on. Come on. Ninety degrees. Okay. And let's go ahead and shift and drag him up to here. Say. Go okay. And again, we can just rotate him 90 degrees. Okay. That's good. And... I think that's about it for what I want to add in besides the rivets. So let's just go ahead and put the rest of the rivets in. And we're going to put one on each one of these. one here, put one here, put one here, and then follow these again. Okay. Good. Excellent. Come on over here. Put that here. 
and one right there good and we'll put one here one start placing these on here again moving things around a little bit this has got to be made bigger and we'll just shrink it a little bit Almost bad. Come on, Max. Go. That's good. Well, we can just move everything back to where it's supposed to be. Okay. And we can continue to paint on our greebles. Go. And here. And here. And here. Okay, and here. Good. All right. And I think that's about that. Now let's go ahead and grab our smaller greebles or our smaller bolts. And drag those over. Okay. We can just drag this over to here. Shift and drag. Okay. Shift and drag. Okay. Now there are a lot easier ways to even do this part. Um, what we could do is do an array along a circle or you know different types of ways to do it but uh, right now I just think that uh, this is probably going to be the best way to do this right this second. Because we're already kind of getting her done so to speak. And they're not going to be even but for what we're looking to accomplish here this is fine okay one more and here and here good I'm going to put one here. And I'm going to put one here. And you will see why in a minute. Okay. Go. 
good. Glue on there. On there. On there. On here. Put these down. Okay, because what I would like to do, turn this off, come over here. I'll grab this, I'll grab this line here. Okay. Okay, uh, why don't you deselect, please. Okay. Now I'm going to grab here, here, Look down a little bit to here, come around on this side. Actually, I could just go ahead and loop that. No, we can't. Okay. So from here. This one up, and yeah, we don't need to do that, do we? Oh, yeah, that's fine. I like the way it looks. I was gonna add in a plate, but me okay. And actually, what we could do, speaking of plates, is grab this plate here, move it over to here, be okay. And let's go ahead and shrink it so it fits. Move it forward. There we go. Zoom in a little bit. Alrighty. That's good. Okay, we got our hatch. So let's go ahead and grab the hatch part. We're going to call it hatch. Uh, or main hatch, main hatch, there's your one, okay, and I'm going to go ahead and go through and attach everything that's attached to this, so let's go ahead and do that. Anytime, okay, it was the rivet. Alright, cool. Just want to make sure we're not attaching stuff we don't want actually attached to it. So. Okay. Okay, you can zoom in here and grab these small rivets. Now we could go through and use H, but at this point is really, we're already here. And it's kind of Zen-like, you know, just clicking away. Okay. Yep. Attach. Good. Awesome. Now what we can do is go ahead 
and take our friend here shift and drag over to here about like so okay good And I think what I would like to do is go ahead and rotate him to fit properly. Turn angle snap off. There we go. Right as rain. And we're getting there, guys. We are getting there. All right. Now, if we wanted to, we can make it a little smaller. But I don't really see the need. We're going to be adding a bunch of detail to it. To the top of the tank anyway but i'm gonna have to call it here we're already double uh a double length part so hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you next part so until then bye bye